We're starting the dehorning program. Two big bulls, they run together, so we're going to do both the bulls together. We'll knock them down one at a time, and um, then we're going to be dehorning them as such for the, for the program where we dehorn the entire reserve's uh, rhino. It protects the rhino against poaching, and um, it gives us at least an 80% better chance of keeping these rhino alive. There's nothing 100%, unfortunately, but um, I think it's an essential part. It's uh, unfortunately rather a brutal process when you look at it, but uh, the end result is amazing. Dart one, and then what I will do is I'll wait a minute or so, see where the youngster is going to go, where the mom goes with the youngster, and then we'll try and dart the calf at about a minute after we've darted the mom. Theoretically, that should get them down virtually together and staying together, which is obviously what I need, because it's much easier to deal with them when they're next to each other. I think she's going to take off, but I don't think she'll. Go, I don't think she'll go far. They're so used to feeding here, so used to people. She'll probably r trot up to that sort of aloe, look a bit startled, um, and then probably come back to the feed. That's what I'm hoping will happen, and I would expect probably to happen here. I'm going to go for the female here, or the big right. one on the right here. Oh. Critical part of our equipment is a stopwatch. It tells us whether this dart is working or not. This is ideal so far, she hasn't run off. She's sitting, Calf and her are both looking at us. It looks like they're probably gonna go back to her and resume feeding. Very impressive horns, you can see why they need to come off. They're a great poacher attraction. Right, I'm gonna do the calf next. It's actually quite nice that they're walking off. Um, because it'll be easier to deal with because these two are going to be difficult to push away. Coming up for two minutes now, uh, we're about halfway to starting to see signs. Um, st at this stage nothing much showing but I'm not at all worried about it, that's as we would expect. You see the calf is showing signs now, she wants to go down. Grab the bottom leg, let's pull it around. Okay, she's facing. I'm up. just going to do a partial reversal on this little calf, get it stabilized, and then we'll go and deal with mom if necessary. Okay guys, let's get her up on her chest here. Um can you come right. here and just uh, okay. bend these legs for us, please? Bend. That's it. Pull it forward. Okay. Right, that's fine. She's going down. Okay, guys, on the rope, please pull her around. What's it going? What's it going? Pull down the rope. Go downhill. Don't set. One, two, three. Forty. One, two, three. Hold on, guys. Yeah. Hundred. Is that Take right? Take the rope off. Be kind of. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Hundred percent. Let it come All back right. up again. That's it. Well done. Cool. Right. Let's get cracking.